Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. As you can see, I think I was holding you on the mic there. Um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of chaos going on right now. You may hear uh, there's some still work going on here at the house, so you may hear tools being used. But on the floor here are a bunch of Legos. Some stuff has to go upstairs into storage. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, but all these bags of Legos here are all processed, pretty much processed. I went through all the, uh, went through two bags, two large bags and two bins of Legos uh, last night and this morning. Pulled out all the minifigures and the minifigure accessories. And these are all just the loose parts that make the, um, you know, that the building blocks. So... Pull them all out, separate them into bags, approximately close to two pounds. Some of them are a little bit over, some of them are under. But I um, listed all those this morning. I got 13 bags and listed those for $15 a bag. Uh, miscellaneous. Some of the sets are still built in there, like this one here. So uh, we've got like the Lego Friends balloon in there. So um, some good stuff in here. You know, there's uh, Star Wars pieces. Um, not super valuable pieces just because you know, you can still get this a lot of these stuff a lot of these pieces um, The ones you want to look out for are the minifigures and minifigure accessories the animals One an goat one animal one Lego animal you want to look out for is the goat. It's a tiny little goat They only made it in one set If you find it, it's worth about a hundred to two hundred dollars anywhere between a hundred and two hundred dollars. I think um, But if you find the goat Get it <laughs> So, what do we have here today? Today we have a... I did go to the flea market this morning because we're not going to go to Good... We usually go to Goodwill Thursday nights uh, right after my wife gets out of work. However, uh, tonight we have a birthday party. So, I did go to the flea market today because I didn't go yesterday. I wanted to go yesterday, but I didn't. Um, and tomorrow, I'm actually have to work my regular job. So, I won't be able to go to the flea market tomorrow. So, I went today. Found some great stuff. I'll probably post that video tomorrow. Maybe tag it along to this one, depending on how long uh, this video goes for. But a few things to show you here. And um, what I'm doing right now is testing uh, some computer parts I have. Uh, video cards, old video cards. So this is a LSI uh, Logic, that's the name of the company. And uh, I'm going to test these out. I'm going to plug these into the to the computer here. And hopefully first I get a light. They turn on. That'll be the first goal. And then hopefully they pop up in Device Manager. I really don't have a way to test these um, to the fullest. But I will disclose all that when I list it. But this is a... Uh, uh, it allows you to plug in... Essentially what this, what this does is it's a... A SAS, SAS, or Serial Attached SCSI uh, is what the acronym stands for. It's basically a hard drive. And essentially what this does, it allows you to plug in uh, four additional uh, hard drives into this. You need a, a specific hard drive to use it, but um, for the most part, you need one of these uh, to plug in one, two, three, four. You'll be able to plug in four, you know, gives you four extra ports. That's, you know, just the, you know, Without getting into anything, you know, without getting any, any into anything more technical about it, basically that's what it is. If you see one of these, unless you know what you're doing, you know, pick it up. If you don't know what you're doing, don't even attempt. Don't don't do it unless you get it for like you know, if you get something, you know, if you find these out there for like twenty five cents or maybe a dollar, maybe you can just sell them. You know, you have no way to test them. You sell them for parts, you know, but you, you probably get like 10 or 15 bucks from just for parts. Um, but uh, my goal here is to make sure they work, they turn on, and uh, uh, I do know what these are. And I bought these before and I've sold these before. Um, not necessarily this brand, but other, you know, other cards similar to this. Then I have some graphics cards too, which I'll show you in a second. Those are a lot easier, those, you know. I'm actually more comfortable testing graphics cards. These, I can basically just make sure they turn on and they, you know, and they show up in the computer's uh, device manager. And then we go from there. 
but this is my test bed. This is what I test all my computer hardware on here. I haven't pulled it out in a while, actually, because I haven't really purchased much hardware for the computer, internal components for the computer here. But uh, this is a test bed here. I got this on um, AliExpress. I really couldn't find anything good on Amazon or anything. So I saw this on AliExpress. It's just a, a I don't know, Lucite um, uh, station, open, open air computer case, I guess. Has a couple of legs there. I had to assemble all this myself. Once I got it, it came in just one flat piece of, uh, of Lucite. And then I had to pop out the pieces and put everything together. Um, it's got your power button, your reset button here. It's got a couple of extra USB. Make sure everything's showing up on the camera here. Extra USB has your mounting um, hardware here for your hard. Uh, <laughs> I'm going through this trying to fast, trying to get in between the 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 buzz sawing and the yeah you know, they're the air blowing they're doing outside. But it comes with the mounting hardware for your motherboards. It comes with the mounting stuff for your little hard drive. This is a solid state drive. Solid state drive, hard drive. We kind of use them interchangeably, but technically this is a solid state drive, SSD. Um, mount your power supply down here. I just have, you know, just a basic setup. This is old, it's not anything fancy or new, modern by any means. Um, I had this extra little fan there, so I just stuck it on there. But um, it's just an Intel platform, um, pretty reliable. I can just pop everything on here, test it out really quick, see if it works. I have it plugged in right now to my monitor, and we're gonna send some power through this, plug in some cards, and let's see what happens. It's actually working. Look, you can see the screen. It actually worked. It worked. There's the little green lights working, it's blinking. But it did exactly what I was expecting it to do, so. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in the card before, but a RAID, if you have a RAID setup, I have a RAID, what's called a RAID setup, it's a, uh, what's it called, redundant array, I forget the rest of the acronym, but essentially a RAID allows you to use multiple hard drives as a single, it does a lot more, there's a lot of features to a RAID, I'm oversimplifying it. But the way I use it on one of my computers is to make two hard drives appear as one, basically, one big hard drive. And I use it as a backup. But um, when you set up a, a RAID, usually you'll see, uh, as you're booting up your computer, you'll see a splash screen appear uh, about the array, about the RAID. And then you can you know, go into it, make changes, whatever. Um, but. I plugged this in already, fired it up, and it gave me that RAID screen, which is great, which is telling me this is actually functioning uh, perfectly, hopefully. I mean, I don't know if it's functioning perfectly, but it's functioning. It works. Um, I will disclose that I did fire it up. I saw the splash screen, and um, I don't even know if splash screen is the correct term, but it... it did what it had to do when I booted up the computer. It did what I was anticipating it would do. Um, the other thing I didn't show you about this setup here is a, a Logitech keyboard that I use. I use these a lot. I have several of these keyboards. If you are testing computers, if you have a computer at your, uh, you know, a lot of people have computers at home now and they have them connected to their TV. These are amazing little keyboards. I have a whole bunch of them. They're actually very comfortable. Has a little trackpad right here. Um, you know, the keyboard, obviously typing on a couch is kind of, you know, difficult, but this allows you to move, maneuver your uh, mouse and everything around the screen if you're playing games or whatever. I mean, you're obviously not gaming on this, but, you know, you'll use it to navigate menus or whatever on there. But it's a nice little keyboard to have on hand for this type of stuff. But, um, nonetheless, the card looks like it works. So that is, <laughs> the reason why I sat, probably sounded a little bit shocked is because... I bought this at the flea market. I bought this a while ago, actually. I just had, kind of had them sitting in the bottom of my little shelf over here. They've just been sitting down there, and I got them for five bucks. I, uh, they got these two for five dollars, so I really didn't, I don't have that much into it. So, 
uh, and they were just sitting out there on the sun until like, ugh, good luck. It's probably not going to do anything. But uh, I was willing to take the chance for five dollars. But uh, all right, cool. I'm just gonna. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna reboot it, get that splash screen to pop up again, snap a picture of it, so that way I can put that in my uh, in my listing when I set up my uh, when I set up the eBay uh, listing for this card. I'm gonna include that picture there. That it w I did have it plugged into the computer. This is what sh what showed. So. Again, everybody, I, I am oversimplifying, you know, all this tech stuff. And I'm not very good, my wife and my kids tell me, I'm not very good at explaining things. Usually what's in my head doesn't translate to what's coming out of my mouth. And uh, I don't really have a good, very good short-term memory. I'll admit, I don't have a good short-term memory. But once it's been locked in my, you know, in my long-term memory for at least a year, it's stuck there forever. So, um, I'm a bad teacher as far as explaining all this technical stuff. And really with this channel, I just want to show you the products, show you what I do. That way you can look for this stuff and hopefully, you know, try to, uh, make some money on it. So, okay. I'm going to just, uh, cut it right here for right now. And then it will come right back and I'll plug in the other card and we'll see how that goes. Okay, one thing I did, um, uh, one thing I did want to mention, if you're working on a test bed like this, especially an open uh, test bench, uh, trying to just adjust the camera a little bit, an open test bench like this, um, always make sure when you're swapping out cards, swapping out parts, or touching it, nine times out of ten, nothing's going to happen. But if you're pulling out a card, putting in a card, make sure to shut everything down. Um, it's still plugged in in but i hit the power switch on the this power supply has a power switch here which i turned off so if i hit the power button nothing there's no power going through it so sometimes it's a good idea to make sure there's no you know flip power switch here if it doesn't have this then unplug it and then just hit the power just to make sure everything's drained there's no uh any residual resin you know sometimes when you hit that power like cut the power here you hit the power button you'll see the fan spin really quick because there's still some some power running through it so by hitting the power button you kind of just cycle it or you know waste whatever power was left in there um i did it while i was uh, uh waiting for everything to shut down i quickly was looking at the spec sheet on this card at least i'm pretty sure it's the same for this card um i said earlier that only SAS or SAS hard drives would work with this, but also SA, uh, SATA or SATA hard drives will work with these cards as well. For those of you uh, that, you know, know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm talking about. So, um, but uh, SAS hard drives and SATA or SATA hard drives um they look exactly the same if you're into hard drive buying i do buy hard drives um it's easy to make the mistake of buying s uh sas drives and sat between and sata drives and sata drives are pretty much what's in everybody's computers nowadays um although now you know we're getting smaller we're using different you know types of connections but they all look the same they all kind of look like this you know, your hard drive will have something very similar to that on the back but SATA drives SATA hard drives or SATA drives will not only have this but they'll have a separate uh, one for the power to supply power to the drive now SAS are a bit different they kind of look the same in the back but the connection or the connector is let me get a picture up and show you guys. Here we go. Hopefully this will bring it right up to the camera there. The top one up here, that's a SATA. Consumer product. Mostly consumer product. And that's a SAS, S-A-S. So as you can see, the SAS is kind of... The two connections are merged together and these are separated. So you need a different connector for that. Kind of annoying... 
but I guess it differentiates the two different drives and SAS uh, or SAS drives you're going to find more in a uh, you know enterprise or company setting you know but I mean everyday people use SAS drives too and just just so you know what you're buying you know a SAS drive is probably going to be a bit of a harder sell as opposed to a SATA drive because SATA drive has, you know, anybody can buy it, plug it into their computer and use it. But enough technical talk. Um, let's plug this in and hopefully, I was trying to figure out which, I might have to take this little, uh, oops, I'm not showing the camera. I might have to take this little heat spreader on, uh, you'll find these on, you know, chips on, uh, cards, graphics cards, these help to uh, remove the heat from the chip. So the chip underneath this generates heat, and this is right up against it with some sort of interface, like a compound, to help transfer the heat. These are usually made of aluminum, although they could be made of copper, and this will absorb the heat and dissipate it through all these fins to the surrounding air. This would be plugged into a case of some kind that would have probably fans in it. And just the, the, the air that circulates within a case will keep this cool and running. Uh, you know, chips that get hotter obviously need, you know, a fan directly on top of it with the fins. So, you know, generally rule of thumb, if it has a fan, if it has a large heat sink, it's going to be a hot chip. It might be like a graphics card, which, you know, can command a good price uh, sometimes. Uh, the graphics cards I have that I'm going to test soon are all, um, they are all uh, vintage ones. They're older. I don't think they're vintage, you know, like 20-year rule, but they are pretty old, so. Uh, okay, let's get this fired up really quick. Let's see if I get a splash screen. Hopefully I do. I was able to take a picture of the last one. And let's see what happens here. Fire it up. I don't know if you can see my TV, my mess and my TV, there's my TV. And boom, there it is, LSI Logic. You can't even see anything because the camera was faded all the way down. I think you guys can see it there. See, right. I got this Russian nesting doll. See that right there on top of that computer? I don't know if I, I've seen sold comps for it. I don't know if I can sell it or not. I know he's a pretty controversial figure. Um, whether you agree with him or not, I don't really care. Do I agree with him or not? I wish everybody would just get along, you know? I don't see the whole importance of trying to... Trying to... You know... Own or control more land. I mean... We're all gonna be dead anyway <laughs> and about you know what well, who would you know average human lifespan you know we only last 100 years i mean <laughs> that's just my motto i'm not a uh, i guess um i don't believe in nihilism but um uh the way i look at things you know uh, there's a movie i'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen it it's called wall street so it might uh, Charlie Sheen, Michael Sheen, they're in the movie with uh, Michael Douglas. Uh, again, I, I mentioned in a, in a previous video about a movie scene that really stuck, you know, with the quotes from that movie really stuck uh, in my head all these years. And it's not, I don't know if it's a philosophy or it's just a motto, something I live by. But um, in the scene, uh, in one of the scenes in Wall Street, Charlie Sheen is going to his dad, who happens to be his real-life dad, and asking him for money. Being like, hey, you know, I need to borrow some money. And the dad's like, well, what are you doing with all the money you're earning? Da -da -da -da, whatever. He goes, well, there you go. You know, you only need money. You only need money if you're not dead tomorrow. And that's the... It's kind of the way I look. I don't really... Yeah, you know, save money. You have a... Uh, you know, we go on vacation. Save money for... The kids and vacations and you know for accidentals you know if your car breaks down it's good to have some money put away for that it's good to have some money put away in case you know ebay crashes for a few days and nothing happens or 
you know, you lose your job, whatever. But I don't really place like this huge uh, like value on money. Like you know, I I don't know. Some people talk about it and it's like it's you know, like it's the only thing in the world. And you know, there, there's a lot of very important things in the world that it's not money, like people, and you know. I I don't want this to be a philosophical conversation or a philosophical channel or I don't want to talk about my thoughts. I'm just trying to, yes, I'm trying to make money right now so that I can live, buy food, go to the grocery store, go out to eat, go to Disneyland, buy all this stuff that I collect and whatever. You know, I we're all out there. We need the money while we're here. But, you know. Do I agree with what certain people are doing in the world right now? No. Can I go over there and change it? Wish I could. Wish I could show up at someone's door and be like, Hey, what you doing, man? Come on. You're really making life hard for a lot of people. But I don't think I'll get close to that, guys. Let me just look at the camera. I don't think I can get close to that guy's door. And <laughs> try to get some sense into him, but Whatever. It's the world we live in. I'm just here trying to hopefully go out Friday night. <laughs> Actually, we have a birthday parties coming up. My niece's birthday is tonight, but then they're gonna actually do a birthday party on Saturday. So I'm gonna need money to buy gifts because she's expecting gifts on her birthday today, and then again on her on her uh, you know party party. So. Uh, <laughs> just uh either way back to the back to what i'm doing here back to my test bed we got the splash screen looks like it's working great um i'm just going to check the device manager make sure it shows up which it should the last one did there's no lights on this one so you know there's really no way exactly to tell it's on but i did get the screen and it's working great so um let's move on to some graphics cards so next on the docket is a ATI Radeon HD 3650. At least that's what this sticker says. But um, I'm going to confirm that by looking up. I used to be a pretty familiar with a lot of cards and when they came out. And, um, you know, I, I have... I haven't built a computer in a while now, since before COVID. Uh, no, it's not right. I built some during COVID that I was able to get parts for, but... Um, so this is a graphics card. Uh, I was looking at the connections here on the front. And that looks like DisplayPort. Uh, this is an old, uh, it's called DBI connector, but I was kind of hoping I could just use... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use my uh, HDMI on that. Great. Well, I mean, I do have a, I do have a DisplayPort connection, so it's not a big deal. I'll just have to get that out. But uh, I'm going to plug this in, fire this up. Graphics card from yesteryear. <laughs> As you can see, what I was talking about earlier about these, um, they're called heat sinks. Heat sink. Uh, you know, it's this one's like got a nice copper base. And those fins in there, I can't tell because of the red, but I think those are probably aluminum, although they could be copper too. Yeah, they do copper. Yeah. So copper is better than aluminum, you know, and then obviously silver is better than that, but silver is expensive. So usually they just, they'll have like a, a copper base to get, really get that heat off the chip and then dissipate it into aluminum fins. Um, copper fins would be, you know, the better, but obviously copper is more expensive than aluminum. This has a little, uh, a fan. This is, um, older style type of fan they used to put on these older cards. But, uh, this is a PCI Express, um, connection. And I think I might have one that's an AGP, which is a very old standard. And I really don't have any way of testing it, so we'll have to do a visual inspection of the card. And um, disclose I wasn't able to test it. 
And I'm going to plug this in. Uh, make sure... Actually, I'm going to look up... Where's the number at? Mm, I think this is going to be the number. I'm going to look up this number and just make sure that this card is what that sticker said it was. I find it kind of odd that it has two display ports and this style of cooler on it because this is old. What's, I'm kind of thinking this may be um, not an HD3650, but we'll see. I'm going to look up that number first and see what it says, get it plugged in, and get a display port. Oh, this is a little short for the camera. Get a display port and um, see what happens. Okay, got everything hooked up here. I looked up the reference number there, and it definitely is an HD3650. Um, still confused as to why it has two display ports on there. But either way, um, it's all plugged in. I got the display port cable out, and let's fire it up. ATI, um, if you're familiar, ATI... Or if you're not familiar, I should say. ATI is a graphics card company. Was a graphics card company. Uh, they competed against uh, NVIDIA. And eventually AMD bought them. So they are now... ATI is now AMD. And we have no video signal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm is not the most ideal setup i know i use my shipping station my picture station everything based by everything station huh well let's see I'll plug it in take that out over there carefully plug this in over here let's see if that does anything maybe I shouldn't have probably, I should have turned it off and not touched it, but I did that anyway. No video out. Is there a fan spinning on it? Yeah. Uh, I know you can't see from this angle, but there is, uh, the fan is spinning on the card. Why is it not giving me a video? That I don't know. Let's do a reboot really quick and see what happens. I can try the other port on this. I have a uh, this connector here. This one is the uh, DVI uh, plug. See that? That should fit right into there but I don't know I mean in the past I would always I wouldn't unplug them and plug them back in like while it's on in the past I would always turn them off and then plug it in plug this type of connector in but I'm not seeing anything let's shut that off for now I'm hearing a weird sound I don't know why was that the fan? I didn't hear any weird sound earlier. Strange. It is plugged in, right? It's plugged in. Make sure the power is off. Okay, get the DVI out here. Let's plug this in and just see what happens. This may turn out to be a longer video. I just said in my other video, I'm not going to. I don't want to make super long videos and keep them around 30 minutes or so, but when you're testing stuff out, sometimes things don't go according to plan. Nothing ever really goes smooth. No, nothing's coming up there. Well, I may or may not... Uh, try to diagnose this a little bit further we'll see but in the meantime i'm going to shut it down 
I can't see anything on the screen, so I just have to flip the switch. I'm gonna unplug it and just call it not working, <laughs> I guess. I mean, it looks perfectly fine. I mean, it's, it is warm. Well, it's pretty warm there. I mean, you shouldn't touch with your fingers, you know, but there looks up here is to be something going on here, like a little bit of something was maybe spilled on it. Hmm. Other than just being dusty, I really don't see anything incredibly wrong with the card. Hmm. Well, just for the sake of the video and the sake of me trying to list these quickly. I did get a lot of listings done today. Like I said, I did all those Legos, which is great. I'm selling one of my cameras I had. I don't ever use it anymore. My Canon M50, I got it a few years ago when, you know, my daughter wanted to make some videos for YouTube. And it's a great camera, but I just don't use it. I, I use the GoPro all the time now. And uh, do I recommend that camera? Yes, but I'm going to sell it just because I don't have, a, um, don't have a need for it anymore. I'm actually probably going to buy another camera. I'm looking at this one, some of the newer Sony ones, the smaller point and shoot um, uh, vlogging style cameras. So I might pick one of those up. Uh, that was too close to the camera. This is another graphics card. This uh, did not have a label. Did I have a label on it? No label on it. No label on it. If I had to guess, it's probably an NVIDIA card, but let's take a look here. This is the, um, if I remember correctly, the logo for a company called S XFX. And a lot of companies make graphics cards. A lot, there's two graphic card chip makers. There's currently AMD and Intel. I'm sorry. <laughs> graphics cards. I mean, Intel does make gra is making graphics cards now. Um, and they do like integrated graphics, but as far as what we call discrete graphics cards, ones you would take, plug into your computer, um, Intel is making those now, but, uh, you know, in the, it's an ATI. Uh, in the world of graphics cards, there's either AMD, NVIDIA, it's been like that for a while, or ATI, NVIDIA. Then there were, um, before that, there were, um, can't remember off the top of my head. Camera roughed off the top of my head, but there were companies before that too. But, um, and then there's other companies. You'll see when you see the graphics cards in the store, it'll be like MSI, it'll be ASUS, uh, XF, I don't know if XFF, XFX is still making cards, but um, they take the chips that these companies uh, design and make, and then they put them on cards like this, and then they package them up and sell them. This is a, okay, this is a, a ATI HD 56, 5670. All right, cool. I like it when it's nice and clear like that on the card. All right. Here we go. Uh, this one had a uh, HDMI, so that's what I'm going to use. I have all these cords out here now. That bar, white bar, I know is kind of getting in the way every time I walk this way in the camera. But let's get that plugged in. We've got power going. Let's see if I get a picture. Let's see if one of these works. You know, it could also be the board too, or my test bin. Oh no! Ah, it's working! Perfect. We have video. I was saying it could be my test bed because I have had issues where if I don't use it, like it'll just, it won't show anything other than, it won't show me a video unless I use the onboard video. I have had that issue before with this setup, but it shouldn't be that way. Oh, perfect. We have a working graphics card. And let me tell you, let's see what the going 
Well, I got all these. I got a, all these graphics cards I'm testing today for. What I got like I think uh, five dollars a card, so and they're all like around thirty, forty dollars. ATI. Nope. Mm -hmm. What is this one? This is a fifty. I'm gonna do a quick close up here. Fifty-six seventy. There we go. Okay, uh, fifty-six seventy AMD. Okay, so I have two graphics cards that ended up working. Uh, one of them it does not appear to work. I'll probably run a few more tests on it. We'll see what happens. And then this other one, which I wanted to show you guys here, is an older card. And this is that one I was talking about earlier. It's called The connection is called AGP. It looks just like this. One, two, three little slots there. Um, I don't have a motherboard that, that this would plug into, although visually it looks to be in, you know, in great condition. So, I'm going to sell it as is, see what happens. Uh, probably about 20 bucks. I'm hoping to get back on it. Again, I spent only $5 on each of these cards. Um, this one appeared to be working. This one actually had the same connection as this, so... It looked just like this with these three connectors on the back. So I'm using this um, uh, what's called VGA connector here. VGA? I forget what it's called. But this one here, I use that one to plug into the monitor. Luckily, with the monitor I have that I use to test stuff with, it has all three connections in the back. It has a display port. It has a uh, this older style connector. It has uh, HDMI. So. You know, everything I'm testing should work with that monitor, if it, the card works, I should say. So, now that that's all complete, I have two LS, two cards at the back, those two LSI uh, SAS cards. I got two working um, video cards, so hopefully, you know, maybe about 100 bucks. I had, uh, what, $5 into those two, 5 10 15 20 so I had $25 we'll make $75 I hope I hope but <laughs> we'll see how it goes um, vintage computing is a thing and you know some games and I know I've tried to play some games that just won't work on modern hardware so uh, sometimes you have to build these older you need some older cards older hardware in order to get some of your games working. And where are you going to find that older hardware? Probably going to look towards, you know, eBay. You have to look online. None of this stuff is sold in stores anymore. I mean, there are some stores that will, you know, buy and sell old hardware. But, um, uh, you're going to have to go to eBay. Most people will go to eBay to look to buy this old hardware and hopefully... You know, put together a, uh, a retro system. 
just like retro, uh, you know, like buying an NES to play your old Nintendo games, you know, same thing for the computer world. Um, one thing I did, I did, like I said, we go to the flea market, <clears throat> then yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I went to go pick up some lanterns. <laughs> now, I don't pick up lanterns that often, it's not really on my radar, but, uh, let me lift this guy up here. Bad angle, here we go. But, check this guy out, it's an old school, old vintage, vintage. Coleman Lantern. For those of you that remember, you would put your oil down here, or your you know lighter fluid, whatever. I don't remember. I, I was young. I did use them, but my parents always set it all up, and then they'd put the little match inside one of these little holes over here and light that little that filament or cotton thing, and then it would get really bright. They're really nice really handy they're heavy though a bit heavy and so I picked these up 20 bucks a piece i got three of them and generally you know, 50 60 bucks or so for these guys but what makes these ones a little bit more special if you can see that writing these are pyrex so the glass pyrex glass now pyrex glass lanterns we're going over a hundred dollars, probably more like two hundred dollars. So I'm gonna get these listed soon. I have two that are Pyrex ones, and one's just standard old Coleman. Uh, it looks very similar to this, except it's not didn't say Pyrex on it. So um, the two Pyrex ones, hopefully about you know two hundred dollars each, and then the other one maybe about fifty or sixty bucks. So just another cool find, another cool things things to be on the lookout for. Lanterns, they are worth something. I don't see them that often, and it was kind of random because I saw one at Goodwill and I bought it. Turned out to be worth about eighty dollars, and then just so happened this popped up on next door. Went and snapped those up really quick too. So kind of weird the way the universe works, but kind of touched on a few things here. Got a little, you know, philosophical on this uh, on this episode. Um, you got to see what I do here when I'm testing computer hardware, uh, what I have available to me. Uh, if you don't know what you, you know, if you don't know anything about computers, don't buy computer hardware. It it'll end up, you know, a bigger headache in the end. Especially, you know, you buy it, you sell it. I mean, if you're comfortable buying it and selling it, and it's going to be, you're getting it really cheap, and you're just going to sell it for parts, you're not going to be able to test it or anything. You know, by all means, you buy it and if it's worth it for buy it for parts just buy it for, sell it for parts and just try to make a little bit of money that way but you know to really uh, see get the maximum amount of value you're going to want to test those out um you know you're going to need some sort of a testing system set up like this and uh that'll help you out and make a little bit more Either way, you know, that's where I'm going to leave you guys here. Tomorrow, I'll do my flea market haul from today. And thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate a thumbs up. Comment down below.